Hey, Brittany from Math with Minis here. Glad you're watching my video. Hope I can help you. If you're here, I'm guessing that you're trying to figure out how you can add a collaborator to your Google form and make it so that you can make copies of form templates that you have, or maybe even create a template and then share it with a collaborative teacher, or if you're a TPT seller, share it with someone else. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as it used to be. You used to be able to create a template style link paste it somewhere, and then it would be a forced copy similar to how Google Docs would work. Now a Google form is more similar to Google Sites. You have to publish the form first, and only then can you add access for people. So the link that it gives you on the bottom, the responder link, is this one that you're seeing on the screen right here. It's the public view of the form when they're going to respond. So if you want to be able to add someone to where they can edit it and then make their own changes and start collecting on their own form, they have to first be manually added to the document, then they have to go to file and then make a copy and then assign it. It's a bummer, but that's where we're at now. And I'm going to show you how to do that really quick. The first thing I want to do is make sure that your Google form is published. So up here on the right hand side, click where this button is here and make sure that it is published. If not, you'll see the option to do and it looks like I'm good to go there. But this link, the copy responder link is the same one as the public link. So you don't want that. Instead, we're going to click cancel. Now that we've made sure that it's published, we're going to click on this little button next to it, right? this link that says share because this is just the public responder link too. So we're gonna click share and we're going to add people manually. Before we do that, we wanna make sure that we have editor view set to anyone with the link. And you'll see if you're using a school version of Google Workspace that you'll likely have an option for just your district or just for your school. It depends how your IT department has it set up. And if that's the case, then only people within your school network will be able to see it. So that's something to just keep in mind too. For example, if you're a teacher, maybe you're also selling resources on Teachers Pay Teachers or you're creating these templates for you somewhere else, you wanna make sure that you're creating those templates off of your work Gmail account. If you have a website, use that Google domain because you will not have all the same permissions and abilities on your school Google account versus your personal or work one. This is a personal Google account, so I can just set it to anyone with the link. And then what I'm gonna have to do is add access manually, unfortunately. And when I do that, I'll just go ahead and add another email I have. Just like if I wanted to add someone to a Google Doc or if I, as someone who wants to access a Google Doc, wanted to request access, you have to add and request them manually here. And this is also a copy responder link again, so that's not gonna help you, unfortunately. So you're gonna put everything in here. Make sure that this dropdown is switched to editor before you send it. And then when you click send, then they're going to get a notification of request to become an editor on this Google form. Then they can accept it. And then they're going to be able to make a copy. So now I'm going to get into that other email so you can see what it looks like on the receiving end. So you can see right here at the top of this inbox, which is also a normal Gmail account. Brittany has shared this form with you. We're going to click on that. Brittany Roberts has shared a form. We're going to click open. And now I have editor access. So it's definitely not as convenient as it used to be. If I wanted to make a copy of this, so I can make sure that everybody who responds to this form that I get their data, I'm going to go to these three dots in the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click make a copy and then I can have a private non-shared link and I can use this as a template. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope it was helpful. If you are looking for more tools to help you in the classroom, I'm going to make a whole playlist specifically dedicated to Google stuff. So you can subscribe right here to Math with Minis. Like this video if it was helpful. And if you have a question, you can either drop it right here in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram over at Matt with Minis. Talk soon.